What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemon. I just want to do a quick how-to video on how to calibrate your pH probe for the Apex. Um, I think mine was a little off, so I wanted to just do it this time. I ordered some stuff from BRS, um, so let's let's go through it. First off, you're going to grab your uh, grab your controller interface, and you're going to press the middle button to bring up your menu. You're going to scroll down to Setup, click that, and then you're going to go to pH Setup. Click that, and then you're going to go to Calibrate. So we will click that. It's set at called pH, so we'll say OK. And we're going to first use the 7.01 uh, buffer solution for the calibration stuff. So let's uh, let's do that. All right, so next you're going to take your, your 7.01 uh, calibration fluid and you're going to cut off the corner as I did. You're going to grab your probe and stick it in here. And if you could tell, then move it around for a little bit. Going to wait for the numbers to settle. Um, from what I've seen, it doesn't matter what the numbers say. So you're just going to let this ride out until it is not moving for a little while. So let's wait. Some stuff I've seen as well, as long as it's not rapidly moving, you could probably press OK. So I'll give it another couple seconds. If it doesn't change, then we will go and click the OK. Then the next step, it wants you to save. We're gonna we're gonna do the high test, and we're gonna save the 10, and do the same thing we did the 7.01. We're gonna cut off the corner, and uh, dip this in. And what I like to do between, let me put this up. What I like to do between them is I'll take the take the probe out, of course. Have a towel ready, put this aside, and have a towel ready to, to clean this off because the, 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 seven, the seven solution is all over it. So I like to clean this off and let me cut the other one, be right back. All right, so grab your probe. Sticking in, actually, you got to click. We'll click save, and then we'll do the same thing we did with the seven solution. So just stick it in here. Let this thing move around for a while. Or not. There it goes. So we'll let it jump around until it settles and then we'll click OK again and it should be calibrated. Alright, so this is probably good. It's not jumping around like crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press OK. Then another thing I like to do is it's it's getting set. So now the calibration is done. Uh, hit exit. And, and let's see what the what it says for pH. It should be around 10. So there it goes, it's perfect. It's around 10, or it's at 10. Um, so that means you're, you're, you are all calibrated and and you're good to go. Um, I like to do this from the, from the research that I've read. Um, do it, you know, every six months or so. That's probably what I'll stick to. I ordered a couple of them through BRS. So, you know, every six months I'll recalibrate and we should be good, should be good to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Just a short, quick video. I had to do it. I figured I'd make a video anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Mike Lemming, your boy is out. Peace.